Praise the Lord, everybody. Welcome to God is Speaking. Today, just really quickly, uh, every year about this time, I get the same message because um, in October, uh, my birthday is actually next week on the 8th, and um, it's always during this fall time that I begin to get some revelation, and I'm grateful. It's almost like God gives me clarity, revelation, and a new thing every year when I'm getting ready to turn another year older, um, and I begin to look around in the autumn and look at the leaves that are falling and thinking of the new seasons and old things, you know, passing away. Um, and I think about how um, things change and then they and then they are um, then, you know, the leaves, the colors, they change and then they fall from the trees. And I think about how things change and then some things you have to let go and they're old things and you begin to walk in newness and you begin to walk in new levels or new opportunities or uh, new missions, new assignments, a new way. And God begins to change things. It reminds me of the scripture, of course, of Isaiah 4. 43 verse 19 says behold I will do a new thing now it shall spring forth shall you not know it I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert and it it just shows me that he's going to do something different that doesn't even make sense that you know he gives a way in the wilderness where you would naturally you know think about being lost and kind of wandering around and rivers in the desert a dry place that he's able to bring you know waters there where you would think it would be arid so he begins to change things and do new things and so this is a time when you know, it's good to reflect and to look and see where are we at and what areas is God trying to change things and renew things and disconnect some other things. And maybe we get so busy in our everyday life that we miss it because we're so used to routine and doing the same things and being comfortable in the things that we know, the things that we always do, the way we always do them with the same people that we always connect with. But God does new things and he does them regularly. Just for me, it just happens that in the fall when it is um, that time when it's approaching my birthday that I seem to get revelation knowledge. God doesn't deal with everyone the same way. I'm not saying when it's your birthday, that's when God's going to change things. What I'm saying is, is God is always changing things. It just may be that there are certain times that maybe he's dealing with us or certain times that we're more aware or maybe just specifically for me, he deals with me this way. But I'm saying to you, God does new things that don't make sense. So don't discredit something because it doesn't make sense because you're expecting something to be this way but it's that you expect the desert to be dry but he has waters you expect it to be wandering around and kind of lost and not knowing where you're going in the wilderness but he makes a way and directs you listen God can take anything and change it around to something that won't make sense to you but it comes down to our faith in him so will we walk it out and walk it through when God is doing something new will you continue and to remain in the comfortable or will you move into the new thing. I'm saying to you today, don't miss what God is doing because you're used to routine. I'm excited because this is a time of renewing some things and disconnecting from others. It's renewing some associations and disconnecting from others. It's renewing um, some assignments and it's disconnecting from some others. It's time for us to see where we're supposed to be because time is at hand and time is moving forward and things are coming to pass and we're on assignment and there's some things that we need to accomplish, some things that we need to press forward in, some things that maybe we were lukewarm in, maybe it wasn't time, maybe it's time to press forward in some things that we were moving slowly in. But either way, we need to be connected with God and see what is God doing in this season. And so I encourage you, just take some time and pray and ask God, am I in the center of your perfect will or just your permissive will? Am I doing everything you called me to do? Are you changing some things and I've still been connected to the old? Have you been urging me to move forward? Have you been trying to get me to shift and I've been staying comfortable and stuck? Listen, it is time for us to make Make sure that we're in the center of God's perfect will. The enemy is running rapid and we have to make sure that the people of God are raising up, connected and doing the things he called us to do. It's time to be bold, to be zealous for the things of God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray, Father, that you move in the lives of the believers and those specifically that are watching and listening to this message. Help us each, Lord God, to walk 
and the things you called us to. And when you're changing things and renewing things and disconnecting us from things, Father, help us to accept the purging and the pruning and the renewing and the changing. And help us to walk in the seasons that you have for us and the time frames that you have purposed for us and the steps that you have ordered for us. Help us to be in the center of your perfect will and not just your permissive will. We thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I love you to life. Don't forget to share this message with somebody. Hit the subscribe button below and the bell if you want to be notified when I upload videos. Don't forget we have a wild movement watchman on the wall. We pray Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm on Facebook Live, Tony Brooke Brown. I'm on Instagram Live, uh, Pastor Tony Brown. Join us if you're able. We would love for you to connect with us as believers are coming together and believe in God for everything because he can do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ever ask or think. God bless you. Have a blessed day. Don't forget to share the gospel with someone today who's not saved. Reach out a helping hand to someone that's in need. Be a vessel that God can work through for the uplifting of his kingdom. God bless you, and I'll see you next time.